Now, San Diego County Sheriff's deputies opened fire on a man after they saw that he rammed a stolen car into a patrol vehicle. A pretty chaotic scene. In fact, CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol has been live at the scene in El Cajon all morning. Joins us now with new information. Dana Marie, what can you tell us? Well, Chris and Netta, it was a much different scene this morning when a stolen blue pickup truck was lodged behind me where you can see uh, not much of the fence is left. There's damage to the tree and the bushes, but let's take a look at some of the video so you can really get an idea of what this morning looked like. Uh, it all started last night around midnight when police were looking for this truck that had been stolen. They located it on Oro Street, which is just three blocks away from where I'm standing right now. That's 2nd Street in El Cajon. Police told me the suspect approached the stolen truck, got in it to drive away against police orders, and then the man rammed a patrol car. That's when deputies opened fire. The truck sped away, crossed 2nd Street, and then rolled, crashing right here. The man then ran towards a nearby apartment complex where police found him hiding. You can see in the video the suspect being taken from the scene in a stretcher, clearly hurt, but police couldn't confirm for me if the apparent injuries were from a gunshot wound or or just uh, that car crash. We spoke to someone living in the area where the man was found by police. Uh, me and my girl were uh, sleeping in our room and uh, my mother-in-law came in saying, hey, I hear some noise and I'm hearing cop cars coming in back and forth, back and forth, and the helicopter's not moving around. And so she goes by the window and checks it out because our neighbor's dog's going crazy as well. And uh, she says she sees a guy hop over the fence and like, crouched down and put his hoodie on and after that we immediately called 911 and that's when everybody else showed up yeah and we watched a tow company take this truck outside of this area again all that remains is a broken fence but it doesn't seem like the building got any damage we don't know uh, the condition of that suspect who that man is or even who that truck belongs to but of course uh, we're going to continue update you if you find any more information cbs8.com is a great resource i'm dana marie mcnichol coming to you from alcohol